Hey guys, it's Leanna and I'm here today with my February TBR. This is quite a massive TBR. I acknowledge that. However, uh, I don't know if I have a point. <laughs> okay, however, one of them is a reread and one of them is a book that I just need to finish. I, I'm not reading the whole thing. It's still a little ambitious, but we'll see how we go. So at the top of my stack, I have Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. This is the reread. <laughs> I do love me some Joe Abercrombie, as mentioned before. One of my goals this year is to reread all of the first law books uh, and then obviously read the new, uh, the final concluding book in the Age of Madness trilogy, which comes, out in, bleh, which comes out in September. So if I read one a month, I'll be more or less on track to have finished my reread when that comes out. And uh, I'm so excited. Anywho, uh, yeah, so Before They Are Hanged is a reread, but I will be reading it, buddy reading it with Mara from Books Like Whoa. She read The Blade itself last year, and when she heard that I was rereading all of them then, and she wanted to keep reading. So she said she'd kind of jump in at this point uh, and pick up the next one with me. So we will be bloody reading this and I'm excited. Next up I have Infernal by Mark the Yeager. This was sent to me by the publisher. It's on my TBR because Rebellion sent it to me. So I will be reading it. Next is the book that I need to finish. And that is The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. I am almost precisely halfway. And I just didn't finish it because we were getting into like holiday times and this doesn't feel like a very holiday-y read to me. And I love this trilogy and I didn't want to be not in the right frame of mind for it. So I didn't like it intentionally set it aside, but I was starting to pick up more like fall and winter books and I kept like not picking this up again because of that. Cause I was like, that ah, doesn't feel like the vibes that I want right now. <laughs> but we are well past the holidays now. So it's about time I finish this before I forget everything that happened. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm so excited to see how this trilogy concludes. Like I have some ideas, but also I have no fucking idea how this is gonna end and I'm kind of itching to know. Next up is me and Amanda's buddy read for the month, which is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer Ellen Armentrout. Um, Mara and Bethany will be joining us in reading this and the live show will be on Amanda's channel at the end of the month, the last Saturday of the month, which I don't know the date of right now and I'm not gonna track. This is a fantasy romance, romance fantasy, fantasy romance, fantasy romance, yeah. I was gonna say, I've heard it compared to Sarah J Mass. It literally says, fantasy perfect for fans of Sarah J Mass. <laughs> so that does not bode well. It was chosen, I think, as a Goodreads Choice Award winner, but I frequently don't like Goodreads Choice Award winners. <laughs> I'm hoping I will like this. There's been plenty of trashy book that I do actually like. I love The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. I love Shatter Me, at least so far. I haven't finished it. I I've been known to like books that are not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much hoping I do like this because it's fucking long and it would be horrible to have to read all this and not like it. So I, I really, really do hope that I like this. I am not expecting to, but I'm hoping to. Expect the worst, hope for the best. That's my life philosophy generally and especially now. Next up is Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. I'm buddy reading this with my father. Um, This was on my list of series to start in 2021, the Malazan Book of the Fallen. So this is the first book and my dad and I are going to read it together because I feel like this is the kind of book where like it behooves one to have someone to discuss it with as you go. So I got it from my dad for Christmas and told him we are buddy reading this and he was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so <laughs> that is the plan. And we, my father and I, will let you know how we go. Uh, next is one of my book of the, uh, the next three are actually book of the month club books. Um, I think at this point I have posted my video discussing sort of plans and goals for 2021, among them being actually reading my book of the month club books, in particular reading my book of the month, at, like keeping up with always reading my book of the month as it comes, and then trying to get through my add-ons as well. So I don't just keep getting books from book of the month and not reading them. <laughs> Cause like the kind of the point is that you're supposed to kind of get them as you read them or read them as you get them. It's your book of the month. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to actually do that. So I don't just have like them stacking up. Of course, if I keep getting add-ons and not reading them, like I'm, it's like, you know, spooning water out of a boat that's filling with water. Like I know I'm not gonna ever be totally caught up, but I'm aiming to be more caught up. So I'll have to say this was my January book of the month. So in to, to go with that goal, I'm gonna read it. No, <laughs> I'm not especially excited for it. <laughs> Mainly because I hate this cover so, 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 so much, but it's short. It did sound kind of intriguing and feminist and fun and adventuresome, which I don't think is a real word. So 
Again, I'm hoping for the best, but not expecting too much. Next is These Violent Delights, which is another Book of the Month Club book. And I figured February is a good time to be reading it because it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling that is Asian inspired, uh, an Asian inspired YA fantasy that is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. There we go. I think if this wasn't my December book, then it was my November book. Oh, it says November. Well, there we go. So again, to try to read more Book of the Month Club books, and also because this is a Romeo and Juliet retelling, February, the month of love. <laughs> Seems like a good time, as good a time as any, really. Continuing with the, the month of love theme, the next two are basically on this list because of that as well. Book of the Month Club book, and it's a romance. So again, this seems like the time to read it. This is the sequel to Bringing Down the Duke, which I didn't actually like very much. I unhauled it. But I talked to a friend who's read both and she knows my issues with Bringing Down the Duke. And I was like, well, do you think I would like a rogue of one's own? Because I did like a lot of the witty banter in that other one. There was just things in that romance that I was just like, mm -mm, no. <laughs> So she's read both and she knows my issues. Uh, even though she didn't have the issues with the first book, she knows what those issues are, doesn't disagree that they were present. So uh, I was like, what do you, th how do you think I would like it? She's like, I think you would like the second one because it does not have those issues at all. So I decided to give it a chance. And last I have Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. This is the second book in the All Souls trilogy, the sequel to A Discovery of Witches. I have said a few times now, like Discovery of Witches, I did not love. I didn't hate it, didn't love it. There are things about it that I quite liked and other things about it that I was like, Meh. So I was kind of in summation quite lukewarm on it. That said, the way that it ends, where it ends, where I know the next book will be taking place based on how the first book ends, the where of this book entices me immensely. So I decided to go ahead and give the next book a go. Um, and if I feel just as lukewarm about this as I did about the first one, then I probably won't read the third one. But the setting of this has my attention and interest. So I was like, eh, yeah, yeah, I want to see that. I, I do. So it's also quite thick. So I'm very afraid this will be the same situation as the first book where like, it's overall pretty fine, but it's too long. Hopefully it's fine. Hey there, it's after the fact me. And I realized that I forgot something on my February TBR. And that something is, Deathless Divide by Justina Ireland. Me and Mar are buddy reading this as well, in addition to Before They Are Hanged and uh, From Blood and Ash. <laughs> so I'm buddy reading everything with Mar this year, if you haven't picked up on that already. Um, yeah, so also this. <laughs> this is what I get for taping things ahead of time. <laughs> After the fact, me part the second to tell you that I will also be reading The Girl in the Tower in February with Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany. So yet another buddy read to add to the pile. Those are all the books that I'm reading in February or hoping to read in February. Let me know in the comments down below if you're reading any of the same books as I am, if you've read any of the same books as I'm going to, if you recommend them, if you want to dissuade me from them. <laughs> uh, please read From Blood and Ash with us because it's always more fun if you guys have read it too and can talk with us in the chat about it. Let me know all the things. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.